students, I'll be your biology teacher for today. And our topic for today's lesson is excretory system. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to infer that excretion is the elimination or removal of metabolic waste products from the cell or body which may be toxic or which are in excess of the cell or body needs, infer that the removal of waste products in unicellular organisms is by diffusion alone through the cell membrane and also with the aid of the contractor vacuo, identify and describe different types of excretory systems in animals and plants, explain the functioning of kidney as an excretory organ, state the main excretory waste products of plants. Excretory systems. Excretory system can be described as the system of an organism's body, which consists of the organs that performs the function of excretion. Excretion is the elimination or removal of metabolic waste products from the cell or body which may be toxic or which are in excess of the cell or body needs. Students, what do you understand by the word ejection? Give example of ejected waste. That is correct. Ejection is the removal of solid undigested food substances which are not byproducts of metabolism. Example, removal of feces from the anus. Do not confuse ejection with excretion. Ejection is not the removal of metabolic waste, while excretion is the removal of metabolic wastes. Different types of excretory systems in animals and plants. 1. Cell membrane and contractile vacuole in unicellular organisms. Unicellular organisms such as amoeba and paramecium have in their cells contractile vacuoles which act to regulate the quantity of water that enters into the cells by osmosis. The contractile vacuole expels excess water from the cells as fast as it enters. The energy required by the contractile vacuole is produced by the mitochondria found near the vacuole. Contractile vacuole expels along with the excess water carbon four oxide and nitrogenous wastes. The metabolic wastes not excreted by the contractile vacuole are excreted by simple diffusion across the cell membrane. 2. Flame cells in flatworms. Flatworms, such as tapeworm, planaria, make use of simple tubular system. The system consists of numerous flame cells. The flame cells are found scattered all over the body but are connected by a branching system of tubes. The flame cells collect the waste products of metabolism as they are released by individual cells. Each flame cell is of the shape of a funnel with cilia around the mouth. The cilia beats continuously and thereby suck the excretory products into the funnel. The ciliary movement gives the appearance of a flickering flame, hence their description as flame cells. The waste sucked into the funnel pass into one of the excretory tubes on either side of the body. These tubes in turn empty into the surrounding water through the paired excretory pores on the back surface of the organism. We'll be back after the short break.
You're welcome back, students. We'll continue from where we stopped. Three, Nephridia in Heartworm. The excretory system consists of paired coil tubules called Nephridia in each segment of the earthworm. Each nephridium walks independently and drains to outside through a pore called nephridial pore. Each nephridium starts as a funnel called nephrostome that collects excess fluid from the colon. The fluid filters through the nephrostome and then passes through the tubule. The useful substances are put back into the circulation and wastes enter the bladder, which is finally expelled out through a nephridial pore on the outside of the worm. 4. Green glands in crustaceans. Crustaceans make use of the green glands for excretion. Each gland consists of four parts, a small end sac, the green gland, flattened disc called the labyrinth, the nephridial canal, and the urinary bladder. The green gland extracts metabolic waste from the blood. Water and dissolved salts pass into the end sac by filtration. Nitrogenous waste materials pass into the labyrinth. Through the wall of the nephridial canal, there is selective reabsorption of salts and glucose dictated by the needs of the animal. The urine is collected in the urinary bladder and removed by the muscular contraction of the walls of the bladder. It is discharged to the outside through the pair of excretory pores located at the base of the antennae. Five the Malpigian tubules of cockroach. The tubules are unique excretory organs as they are in the form of thin, elastic, blind ending tubules attached to the alimentary canal between the midgut and the ingot. The free ends lie in the emocle and are baited in the emolymph. Water and nitrogenous waste drain into the Malpigian tubule and from there into the intestine in the rectum. Most of the water is reabsorbed and almost insoluble waste in the form of uric acid is excreted along with the feces. 6. Excretory organs of fish. Fish excrete nitrogenous waste in the form of ammonia through the kidney. They also excrete carbon-4 oxide by gaseous exchange through the gills. 7. Excretory organs of amphibians. Amphibians excrete by means of the kidney, skin, mouth, and lungs. Example, toad. The kidneys are in pair and lie on the dorsal side of the abdominal cavity. The kidneys excrete nitrogenous waste in the form of urea. 8. The excretory organs of reptiles, example lizard. The excretory system of a lizard consists of the two kidneys which lie in the posterior part of the dorsal surface of the abdominal cavity. The ureters or urinary ducts which lead from the kidney to the cloaca. Reptiles excrete nitrogenous waste in the form of uric acid which is passed out through the cloaca along with feces. Carbon-4 oxide is excreted by expiration through the lungs. 9. Excretory organs of birds. It consists of two kidneys which lie against the dorsal wall of the abdominal cavity. The two ureters which lead from the kidney on each side to the cloaca. A bird excretes nitrogenous waste in the form of uric acid. 
Carbon 4 oxide is excreted by expiration through the lungs. We shall be back after the short break. You're welcome back students. We'll continue from where we stopped. 10. Excretory system of mammals. There are four types of excretory organs used by mammals. The lungs, the liver, the skin, the kidneys. The lungs excrete water vapor and carbon-4 oxide. The liver excretes bile pigments called bilirubin. The skin excretes water, salt, and urea through sweat. While the kidney excretes water, mineral salts, urea, uric acid, and creatine. In mammals, kidneys are the major excretory organs. Structure of the kidney. There are two kidneys which are located at the dorsal wall of the abdominal cavity or abdomen. The left kidney is slightly higher in position than the right one. Each kidney is being shaped and dark red in color and is surrounded by fibrous capsule and fats which keep it in position. At the top of each kidney lies the adrenal gland. Renal artery renal vein and ureter join each kidney. Renal artery carries oxygenated blood to the kidney, while renal vein carries away deoxygenated blood. Ureter carries urine to the urinary bladder. When a kidney is caught longitudinally, it consists of three portions, cortex, medulla, and pelvis. The structure responsible for the formation of urine is the nephron, kidney tubule. Each kidney in man consists of about 1 million nephrons. The kidney carries out the following functions, osmoregulation, production of urine or excretion of metabolic waste, maintenance of acid-based balance functioning of kidney as excretory organ. Blood from the renal artery enters the Bowman's capsule through the afferent arterial. Ultrafiltration occurs in the Bowman's capsule. High pressure in the glomerulus causes the filtration of small molecules such as amino acids, glucose, mineral salt, water, urea out of the blood plasma into the cavity of the capsule. The filtrate or the glomerular filtrate passes through the nephron where selective reabsorption of the useful metabolites that is glucose and amino acids take place in the descending or first proximal convoluted or coiled tubule. The reabsorption of salts and water is regulated in the loop of Enli and the ascending or second or distal convoluted tubule. Large waste molecules like creatine are also secreted into the distal tubule depending on the blood concentration. The filtrate continues into the main collecting duct or tube where further reabsorption of water and salt takes place. The remaining fluid in the duct becomes urine. Excretion in plants. There are no special excretory organs or systems in plants. Elimination of certain waste takes place through the stomata and lenticels and some waste are disposed of through various parts of the plant. The main excretory waste products of plants includes carbon dioxide, water, oxygen, oils and resins, latex, tannin, mucilage, gum, crystals, alkaloids, and anthocyanin. Students, answer the following question. 
What constitutes excretion? By which process can waste products be removed from the cells of protozoans? Explain the functioning of the kidney as an excretory organ. For further studies, read the Senior School Certificate Examination Past Questions and Answers for WIAC, NECO, and GCE Biology. Bye-bye, students.